let's just get into it, Chef. What do you think? Let's go to the match. All right, so we are going to see the Empoleon, of course, from G Knight, but Kira going with the normal Pikachu. We're a little bit more used to, I would say, seeing the Libre from her, but uh, definitely has been known to use both of them. I think did, in fact, switch to normal Pikachu at least once in the finals last Players' Cup, so uh, I don't know why this is a pick in this matchup. Do you have any guesses? Oh, goodness. I, I wonder if it's partially just based on... Uh... I don't know. I think having the the Volt Tackle could be a, potentially a factor, but I'm, I'm sort of curious. Do you have any thoughts, Chef? Uh, I certainly do not. I mean, both characters are quite good, so I guess we'll just see if we learn anything about it. You know, Empoleon's still not a character that we see that often, is what I want to say. However, we're seeing quite a bit today, and uh, so there's a lot, I think, for all of us to learn about the character, but... Already starting off. Oh, misses! Very, very unsafe situation right there. If you miss on block, that would be the two hit. Would have been safe, but Pikachu is going to punish that for a lot and did. But now at least G Knight is going to be taking quite a bit of damage after the fact. Yeah, one thing that I could see is it, it's very tough to approach into Empoleon with his defensive play and Pikachu having more ranged options for their out. Kira here, though, setting up the Latios and putting the pressure on just like she can do. The Nuzzle potentially going to be so scary, and she actually went to the counterattack knowing that G Knight might be expecting a devastating throw from Pikachu just like that. Pikachu's uh, Nuzzle like that in the corner so devastating. So she goes to it second, a little bit of an inversion and, and catching G Knight off guard. Closing out round one with it. So strong from Kira there. Yeah, you can just see the strength of Latios. Uh, you know, that was one knockdown in the corner into Latios, and that was pretty much it. Even if G Knight, uh, you know, managed to get away from all of it, which he really did, it was still just locking him in the corner. Oh, gets walled from that, and a great conversion. Okay, doesn't quite get that final hit there. Probably isn't actually possible to get it, but uh, still got as much damage as you could possibly get. Resets the phase shift points with the burst attack after the stealing on the wall, the second one. Uh, Kira, wow, calling the Latios defensively actually here in, in a way and gets the Volt Tackle pick up off the Latios. Look at all the damage uh, just from that one conversion. Oh, but now both players actually being cornered and using <laughs> the Latios just to try to, uh, I don't know, build a little bit more space. And it really actually did work for both of them. It's just that Kira was at such low life that the Aqua Jet uh, caught her trying to escape, I would have to say. And so it's going to be tied up one round apiece. Ooh, great job getting around uh, the attack there from Kira, evading and landing one of her own. Uh, back to field phase. She has burst already. Burst Pikachu among similar to Shadow Mewtwo, very fast charging in the fastest tier of charging burst. Uh, so she can go to that whenever she would like. We'll see what she does with the pressure here. G Knight fighting his way out of the corner, uses the Aqua Jet into a surf mix up, uh, but Kira answering back and now into the Latios again. Oh, the burst wave! Pushing G Knight back into the pillar, and I think that grab's gonna be it. Yeah, especially the fact that there was the defense down deep up because of the Latios. Just one more addition to that support that makes it work out so well for these players. Yeah, the defense down, so meaningful. It's just devastating to find yourself in positions uh, late in the game where any false move you make is gonna close things out. Uh, it just puts that little bit of extra pressure on you. And, you know, Pikachu, a character. That depending on your, your combo pass, a lot of Pikachu's hit do a lot of damage off the right on that first hit. Uh, that I think, in terms of scaling, work really well with the defense down, I would guess. Oh, yeah, I, I would I also have to uh, guess that. I think that's uh, something that actually we just saw right now. But right now, G Knight doing a ton Ooh. of damage to Kira. You know, there's multiple ways for Empoleon to get a defense down debuff on the opponent, and this one has paid off a lot and g knight picking up the perfect answering back in round one here looking very strong uh, again one interesting thing about both these players because they're running latios they're going to focus on cheer skills that give them synergy burst primarily rather than any type of support because it charges so quickly uh, g knight here coming out on top of that field phase and now in the corner though over pikachu 
Yeah, we've actually seen G-Knight with a few of those steel wings over Pikachu's head. Honestly, the height of the of Pikachu and the fact that it's so tiny really has been coming into play here. Uh, avoided a lot of chip and did set up some punish situations, but... Uh, right now, Kira is going to be the one taking the advantage. The jump back's in field. It's actually worked out quite a bit for G-Knight, but not in this case. Nice conversion from Kira. Finds herself at mid-range going in. That can be a little bit tough approaching into Fulium, but G-Knight goes in, goes into burst, and whose pressure is it going to be? Kira with a little glancing hit there. Not enough to convert off of. Oh, gets underneath. That was really scary. Corner Pressure gets the hit! This is going to be a conversion into Burst, and I don't think this is going to be enough. Pikachu's Burst Attack, normally not a very high damage Burst Attack. And yeah, actually, you can see exactly how low it can do once things are scaled right there. But it does set up the Latios, which is the scariest part of it right now. Oh, goes for a grab attempt, but messed up by the Latios hits. Very tough to time, but not going to get in her way. Kira closing it up, and now on round set point against G Knight. Yeah, I, I like the fact that Kira has gone to strike so many different times after, or in the Latios setups, rather than ever really going for the grab, just going for the actual attacks and uh, just eventually going for the grab after the fact. But G Knight, of course, is going to be really good at defending against it because he is a user of Latios also. Yes. Ooh, the Ice Beam to delete the projectile from Pikachu. Good stuff from G Knight. Throws out a Water Gun and gets the Aqua Jet Pressure. Oh, Kira just walking forward, avoiding the Rock Smash. Well, at least avoiding one hit. But okay, here's the burst activation. First to burst. What's the mix up? Just blocks, good choice. Calling the Latios now. And Latios. Yeah, this is gonna push Kira past, but just do so much chip damage. A great jump over. This is a wall. And a Latios setup of her own. Will we finally see the grab? Nope. And just jumps away. Good yeah, call. Yeah, Genite, that was so great. Just jumped right out of all the pressure. Uh, now with pressure of his own, using the water. Oh, gets in with the cut. That's going to be enough? No, not quite. But in a great position here. 15 seconds left on the clock. And a very strong life lead here. But Kira answering back. Pikachu's damage it can be fairly strong. And she's in guts. In that red health, five seconds left. Has to make a mix-up count here. Catches with the homing deck. Oh. And it gives a burst. So this is going to be one more mix-up away. It's going to be a lot of life back. Was that a commitment? It was. And Kira makes the comeback from one HP. That looked like that was over. I honestly did not expect that to even be a chance. You know, I mean, Pikachu does have pretty high damage in certain situations. But you have to guess correctly every single time spot right there and kira did but you know we're not uh i, I would say we, we're not surprised to see kira make a comeback right i think it's a pretty